You are so okay. in denial. Okay. You need therapy. Chef Ramsay is back and he is bringing the heat. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for another top 10 Gordon Ramsay outbursts. Do me a favor, just pull your pants up a little bit, yes? The view of your crack to table seven is not appealing. For this list, we'll be taking a look at more of the British celebrity chef's most brutal, quotable, and hilarious verbal beatdowns. Do you honestly think they came here for that? No. We've got worse now. We're going just salad. Salad, Trev, let's go. Number 10, Gordon versus Colleen, Hell's Kitchen. I uh, am a culinary instructor. I own a recreational cooking school. And were you a trained chef before you set up the school? No, I am not a trained chef. On Hell's Kitchen, the signature dish challenge is not only a great way to see what the aspiring chefs have up their sleeves in terms of culinary skills, it also gives us a glimpse at their attitudes and egos, especially when their food ends up getting a verbal shredding. Who's cooked the diapers? No diapers, sir. That smoked chicken enchiladas with poblano cream sauce. My name is Colleen. Season 5's Colleen was one chef who couldn't handle Gordon's special brand of humble pie. As a culinary instructor with no formal chef's training, the fact that her food was well below subpar made her an easy target for ridicule. You seriously charge $300 to teach people how to make that crap? Yes, yes, chef. I feel like I need some plastic wrap on my ass. Of course, she did not help herself by questioning the chef's manners. Chef Ramsay responded accordingly. Okay, please, Miss Manners, f off back in line. Number nine, Gordon versus Abby, Kitchen Nightmares. Hi, oh, this is gross down here. Holy crap. Look at that, lamb bones. Just dumped in there like that. The British super chef has met his fair share of delusional owners throughout his cooking career, but one of his fiercest opponents was Down City owner Abby, who took stubbornness to new extremes. It has nothing to do with me. No. Excuse me, what do you think I'm doing? I mean, I, I'm trying. You're being, you're being a f This wasn't like this. Hold on it a wasn't minute. like this. I don't hold, run a kitchen like this. Hold on a minute. As Ramsay tried to help her fix her failing restaurant, it became clear that Abby was not interested in his opinion. You're calling me a f I am. You stuck up, precious little bitch. Let me tell you oh something. Oh boy, here we go. Their feud reached a boiling point when he discovered the horrific state of her food storage, leading to an all out war of words where things got so heated that Chef Ramsay was actually tempted to just walk away from it all. Moldy lamb bones? I don't even talk to my staff like this. Why don't you get the out of my restaurant? Want me to go? I would love you to go. I will go. Get the out of my restaurant, please. Number eight Gordon versus Keith, Hell's Kitchen. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen tonight and will not be going through to the final two is Keith. Losing a place in the finale can be a hard pill to swallow, but most contestants take it on the chin and walk out the door with their dignity intact. Season 2's Keith is not one of those contestants, although it's up to you to decide if he kept his self-respect. After losing to Heather and Virginia, Keith can't contain himself and questions the chef's judgment. So you're telling me that Virginia is a better leader than me? I've been leading the whole thing. Unable to cope with Gordon's assessment of him, Keith accuses Gordon of dropping him in favor of Virginia because he's attracted to her. I personally don't think you're ready to lead. I personally think that you have a hard on for Virginia. His outburst doesn't go unpunished as he is instantly put in his place. Why'd you have to be so rude? Because you're rude to me all the time. So? It may not be explosive, but the chef's comments are so sharp they may as well be knives. Now, I definitely know I've made the right decision. So your attitude does think. Number seven, red mullet from Thailand, Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares. I had lunch with Nigel. Yeah. Sadly, very disappointing. In which row? Before he became a huge hit in the States, Gordon Ramsay was taking on terrible restaurants in the United Kingdom. Nigel's joining me for lunch to discuss his so-called British menu. It's packed with 60 dishes from around the world. One infamous restaurant visit was his stopover at the Granary, where the owner could barely control his business and was content in his little bubble, shuffling blame onto everyone else. Why have you done this to us? Why have I what? Why did you do this to us tonight? We've never had a night like this, never. That is, until Chef Ramsay broke said bubble by letting him know exactly where he'd been going wrong. Shit food. 
Red mullet frozen from Thailand. As you can imagine, this didn't go down well at all, with the owner even attempting to shift the blame onto Gordon. Big mistake. You're a weak man, because you just pick oh, on off, Gordon. Don't call me a weak man. You're a weak man. You are. Why don't you open your eyes, get your head out of your ass, and try to look at your business objectively? Number six, imitation. Hell's Kitchen. Touch that! It's raw, Melissa! Yes, Chef. We're not sure what was going through Boris's mind when he decided it'd be a good idea to do a poor impression of Gordon Ramsay during one of his rants in the middle of service. Raw! Well, unfortunately for Boris, Chef Ramsay has better hearing than he expected, because his little impersonation did not go unnoticed. Boris! Yes, sir. Come here. Yes, sir. So I'm telling her about a raw pizza, and you'll mimic me at the back. I'm sorry, Chef. Yeah. What's your game? As you might expect, the chef comes down on him like a natural disaster, and Boris gets to see what a real Ramsay rant looks like up close. I'm just here to cook, sir. So I'm telling her the pizza's raw. Come here, you face. Oh, no. And there you go. You touch it then. Now look at me. Take the piss out of me now, face. Moral of the story, kids. Never take the piss out of the world's angriest chef when he's trying to do his job. You will regret it. We're assuming Boris certainly does. Take the piss out of me one more time in the middle of service, yeah? Kiss your and ask goodbye. Is that clear? Understood, chef. Wake up! Will not happen again. Number five. Gordon versus Raj, Hell's Kitchen. What do I need? What did I just call out? We're not sure there's ever been a bigger donkey in Hell's Kitchen than season 8's Raj. Of course not! Why would I say that? Don't shout at me, face. You told him that. Don't push the sides, so I, I look good. I'm ready with the sides. Look, I got all the sides ready. I'm waiting for them to... So why is he not taking the orders? I have no idea. Why? Look at these sides. He's all ready. I'm... 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 From the get-go, the supposed professional chef dazzles both Chef Ramsay and the audience with his stupidity. Between his blunders in the kitchen, that time he ate the food, and that other time he did drunk karate, he certainly was a standout character. I need to go to the customers and tell them you f it up. I need, so I need another jacket, so I can't go out there with this jacket. Hey, come here, come here, you. If I tell you to get out there, I don't give a f if you got a thumb up, you fat crack. Such a standout character, in fact, he drove Chef Ramsay and his fellow chefs to their wits' end. Eventually, something had to give, which is why Raj's stay in Hell's Kitchen was a short one. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... Raj. Number four, Rancid Scallops, Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares. Look inside. What does that tell you? Um, slightly overcooked. There's nothing Gordon Ramsay hates more than chefs who stopped caring. And that hatred increases exponentially when it leads to him becoming violently ill. In a bid to try and help the failing Bonaparte's restaurant, Ramsay goes to the source and checks out what their cooks are made of, demanding they serve him their best dish. Gentlemen, Tim, sing your dish. Scallops. Scallops. Can't wait to see it. They boast about making a mean plate of scallops. And while they look good on the outside, they've actually gone bad. Well, as you can expect, Gordon runs off to wretch in the alley, and he is not particularly happy about it. Oh. If you knew they were off, I didn't. why didn't you say? No, I didn't. I didn't know they were off. They're f***ing minging. Number three, toilet brush, Hell's Kitchen. Why are you putting more scallops in there? And you're like this with the scallops. Sometimes it's the throwaway insults that are the funniest, and this is no exception. In season four, during one of the worst opening nights in Hell's Kitchen, the chef makes a last ditch effort to rally the blue team, while at the same time laying into the cooks who are at fault for the horrible evening. Bobby, yes. I'm looking for someone to take control of this disgusting, embarrassing mess. In typical Ramsay style, he spouts off a range of oh so eloquent remarks, insulting every chef in the place with his characteristic rape your wit. But our absolute favorite is his commentary on Lou Ross's hair. Well, can't argue with that. He doesn't give a f He's dreaming. He's standing there pissed his pants looking for his tartar caviar white chocolate crap. And he's just running around like a toilet brush. Is anyone going to take control? Number two, and she's dead. Kitchen nightmares. Just when you think it couldn't get any worse. From the moment Gordon Ramsay walked in, the writing was on the very pink wall that this restaurant was going down in flames. What's going on with the color? 
somebody colorblind? <laughs> yes. uh, yeah, actually, I am. Clue number one, the owners of Miami, Florida's Fleming, a place that supposedly specialized in Danish cuisine, had no connection to Denmark. So, the chef's Danish? No. No, he's Cuban. Cuban. But worse yet, the poor practices in the kitchen in terms of storage, preparation, and overall cleanliness left much to be desired. To the point where Chef Ramsay was forced to take half-eaten plates of food away from customers for fear they'd be poisoned. Stop the kitchen, everybody! I need all the ducks off the table and stop them eating it. In fact, some of the food later came out in such terrible condition that the chef stated that his deceased grandma could do better. My grand could do better. This is dead. Oddly enough, we don't doubt it. We're not serving Caesar salad with bits of carrot in there. The Caesar salad hasn't changed. Before we reveal our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Brad. Yes, chef. Tonight, you were shit. Yes, chef. In fact, you were worse than shit. It's correct, chef. You complimented shit. Would you mind taking your breath off my hot plate? Yeah, look at that. How can I serve food with those <laughs> things there? <laughs> Security, please. It's beef, you idiot. Eat tartar. You've never heard of that, have you? It's low grade beef. Go and have a shave, you. Low grade dog. Let's go. Standing there like some jerk. Stand strong, buddy. Stand nice and strong. Push your arms out. You look like a whale. Number one, Gordon versus Giovanni. Hell's Kitchen. What is that? Giovanni's best. Hey, Ben. Pressure in the kitchen can make even the most experienced contestant crack. However, under no circumstances does that mean you should attempt to talk back to Chef Ramsay, because you will not like the consequences. Your special has now become not very special, thanks to <laughs> face there. After being humiliated and giving the charming title of dick face by the chef, season 5's Giovanni decides to snap back. Yeah, but I'm not the face chef. <laughs> The unfortunate result is that Gordon Ramsay quite literally explodes in his face. I'm not a look at me, look at me eyes! Not as pissed as I am! You are! Donkey! No. Kudos to Giovanni for keeping his cool and not curling up in a ball on the floor during this rant fest. We're not sure we could handle a Gordon Ramsay that angry and that close. Oh, chef! Hey, oh, look chef. at me, look at me. You serve me like that. Take your jacket and oh, off. Yes, chef. This remains one of his most eruptive outbursts to date, and one unlikely to be forgotten, especially by Giovanni. This is not personal, this is professional! I'm sorry, that Chef. That person was a piece of now pull it back! Yes, Chef. Do you agree with our list? Everyone starts telling me how good they are, yeah, you're slow, madam. Which is your favorite Gordon Ramsay outburst? Missy, clean your glasses, I'll ask you a question again. Yeah, let's do it this way. Clean your glasses! All right, Chef. For more top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. It's not good enough, guys. Let's go, guys. Hey, Ed, come here. Hold your hands up. Yeah, look at me. You, 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 and you. About. Leave me alone. Get out. Get out. Get out.